what do you think is a stronghold right now that if you overcome it will take you to the next level? <laughs> I'm going to tap on it real quick. Patience. Ooh, uh, Patience. And I asked God. So I've been actually had a crazy couple months, went through, oh, had a low point, And I got, like, into an accident. I've been without a car for a couple months. Like, these things was happening to me in the midst of great things happening to me. Mm. Like, with fitness. Like, God opening doors, <clears throat> opening doors. And I'm I sat down. You got to give God that time alone. So sometimes people are praying and like, oh, he's not answering. Give that time alone to, for you to listen so mm. he can talk to you. So I sat down and I'm like, what are you trying to teach me? He instantly put on my heart like, patience. You're always rushing. You're always rushing to get mm. to the next place. Slow down. Slow down. Patience. You good? Rock out. And I feel like it reflects crazy because I've always been an impatient person. I've always wanted things instantaneously it's since I was young. So it's my passion tapping into fitness. God, I feel like he placed that in my life to teach me patience because mm -hmm. if you want to meet this goal, take two years. Mm -hmm. You can give up. Go ahead. You ain't going You ain't gonna meet it. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to adapt patience. So I feel like that's my stronghold and I'm overcoming it and it feels good. And it's crazy because you be like, dang, if I only would have had patience five years ago, mm -hmm. look where I would <laughs> What is everyone else's else's thing that they think that? Mine is procrastination, mm. and I'll say people pleasing, but mm. more of like, <clears throat> like I'll get very distracted with what everybody else is doing rather than pouring into myself. Mm. So there's that, and then that just like the procrastination. That's something that I'm like, I don't know what it is just yet. I don't know if it's fear. I don't know if it's just like that analysis paralysis. Like it's so many things that it could be, but definitely uh, procrastination and just like not just starting. Mm -hmm. and, and that done is better than perfect and just do it. But it's, it's all of that. Wait, yeah. so so now let's, let's just dig into that for a second. How does one, because I've been through that. I'm sure every creative goes through that. How does one get from procrastinating to actually making moves? What are some tips? What can somebody do? Just do it. Like, I was just about to say, 99U teaches. is a book called 99U. Get it for all creatives. Tap into it. It's crazy. There's a difference. Either you're going to do it or you're not. It's no such thing as trying. You sitting on it, you procrastinating. You're going to go full throttle or you not going to do it. You're holding yourself back. I think that's literally do it. Yeah, I think um, I heard, I watched a lot of Steve Harvey, a lot of TED Talks and stuff like that. And I heard him Uncle give a, um, Shout out Uncle yeah, Steve. Uncle Steve. Um, he gave a lot of, um, he gave a talk about getting out of your own way. And I, mm. it's me versus me standing mm, in my own always, way. Always. Just how you said earlier, God is you literally providing the provision that you asked for in the abundance that you asked for. And how are you going to ask for something you're not ready for? Mm. How are you going to ask for something how are you you're gonna not ask ready for? for? So I think my, my stronghold <laughs> is getting out of my own way mm. as well as I get into these... Um, these blocks where I think I can't, you ever see somebody excelling with their gift and you see somebody else trying to excel with that same gift, but that's not the gift for you. That's yes. why you're not working because mm -hmm. that gift don't belong to you. Mm -hmm. You just saw somebody being great at podcasting, at being great at brand create, shout out, create yourself. That, that felt personal. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? You, you know what? You see somebody <laughs> on their own doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you like, damn, I want to do that. I want to do that. Like, damn, how, why am I not there yet? Comparison is the thief of joy all Jeez. the time. Guys, battlefield in the mind. Get it. <laughs> she get it. I swear. Like, change like, my it. life. Bro. Comparison is the, and not happiness. Comparison is the thief of actual utter joy to really be elated about something mm. or doing something. Like, what makes me happy is making people happy, which is why I want to do healthcare. I want to be able to look at you and say, Yes, your dad made it through surgery. Yes, this, this is pro bono because I know your situation. Not because the money isn't there, I'm doing a good, but because like, dang, you can go home and wow. God, God sat there and took the time to make that person find their gift so that I could be with and not without. I don't have time. I don't have time. So yeah, I think that that's my stronghold, getting out of my own way and people pleasing. So yeah. Y'all not about it's to have me thing. Me too. Mm -mm. Man, so yeah, I mean, my, my stronghold, and it always comes as a surprise to people, but it's like, it is what it is, man. It, it always comes down to confidence to like do mm. do what, what you know you're supposed to do. Mm. 
right? And so, um, like, I tell this to people, and they'll be like, bro, what are you talking about? But, like, I literally force myself to do the things that I do because I know that I was purposed for it, and I feel like it's disrespectful to have a gift and not use it to the creator. Like, it's disrespectful. But, like, man, there's so many times where I felt like, yo, I should have just talked to that random person, like, even though I didn't know him. Mm. And I just, I was like, nah, I don't know him, so let me not. You feel me? Or so many times where I should have performed and I'm like, ah, nah, let me not. I don't want to. And I disguise it as I don't want to be a nuisance to no one or I don't want to be. But really, all it is is like my whole life, I let people tell me I was arrogant or that I was crazy for doing this. And eventually I just believed it. And that was like, Chandler, I know she about to say battle for the mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> She's about to plug this book one more time. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Excuses be gone. Get it, guys. <laughs> so that's my thing, man. Like, if I can just walk in full faith and know that. You know, I, I was purposed to do everything that God puts on my heart. Mm-hmm. I think that that next level would just be right there. Right. So I have, yeah. I have a question for you, Chad, regarding music, regarding yes. your music. Oh, I love um, those. I love those. Just so y'all know, Reflections EP out right now. Out right now. Um, self-titled, been out, you know what I'm saying? Get on yeah. that. Um, yeah. When it comes to you in, in terms of all the creatives who want to do music or production or be in the industry, right, how do you... How do you deal with finding your sound and not being like everyone else and having that confidence like 